Well, maybe you're the one who's been riding a crazy train, but I've been the Prince of Darkness since 1979. Ozzy Osbourne is a legendary English rock star, but despite his British roots, he prefers to call Los Angeles home these days. Since his family's iconic reality TV show The Osbournes, it would appear most of their real estate stayed in the United States. As of late, Ozzy resides in a beautiful mansion in Hancock Park, and in this video we're going to look at these homes as well as the previous house from the Osbournes, their house that caught fire in England and more, as you might be surprised that Ozzy's houses don't look half as edgy as him. John Michael Osborne, better known as Ozzy, is a celebrated musician best known for being the lead singer in the band Black Sabbath way back in the 70s. This was when heavy metal was just being invented. I know my rock music pretty well and Ozzy's a definite pioneer to say the least. Also known as the Prince of Darkness, his crazy antics have been a hot topic more than once too. At the time of this recording, Ozzy is 71 years old, but he hasn't slowed down yet. In fact, his new album Ordinary Man has just been released and of course that means a 2020 world tour as well. I can't say I'm surprised though since his collab song with Post Malone and Travis Scott turned out so damn well. Fact is, the man is staying relevant. Despite being fired from Black Sabbath for his drug and alcohol abuse, Ozzy also has had a successful solo career and reunited with the band more than once since. Not to mention the early 2000s, Ozzy became a reality TV star. His MTV show The Osbournes followed him, his wife Sharon, and two of their three kids, Kelly and Jack. The show ran from 2002 until 2005, and during the first season, it was the most viewed series ever on MTV. I'd like to think this show kind of set the stage for future family reality TV, like Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Well, yes. I could go on and on about Ozzy's accomplishments since he's had a lifetime of them, but today is all about his real estate. One thing you should know though is the godfather of metal has an estimated net worth of 220 million. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna see where the Prince of Darkness, aka Ozzy Osbourne, calls home, like his properties in Los Angeles, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and bring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I love making new friends. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Before I show you where Ozzy's living these days, we have to take a look at the famous family home from the Osbournes. They actually bought this home back in 1999 for 3.9 million and it's located in the celeb filled Beverly Hills of course. This house was featured on the reality show from 2002 to 2005, so those who watched caught a glimpse inside. You would have also seen how it was gothic style as well as how Ozzy and Sharon decorated the place with unique pieces all over. Christina Aguilera actually took this mansion off their hands in 2007 for 11.5 million, but she's moved on since. Ozzy and his family's previous and well-known home is described in the listing as having ultimate elegance and creative decor. Sounds about right. The old Osborne residence is 10,000 square feet of living space and has six beds and nine baths throughout. The property spans over half an acre and offers complete privacy as it's fully gated. Inside the home there are high ceilings, tons of natural light and although it's fancy, it's still warm and inviting. The grand entryway has a sweeping staircase which leads you up to the impressive master suite. There you'll find what used to be Ozzy and Sharon's room, complete with a raised platform for a massive bed, fireplace, a lounge area, his and hers bathrooms and walk-in closets. Of course, the main level of the home has all the usual fixings like a formal dining room, gourmet kitchen, and living and family rooms. Other features of Ozzy's previous mansion include a home gym, games room, movie theater, a gift wrapping area, and apparently even a beauty salon. Not to mention the additional guest house that includes a recording studio. Outside on the grounds, there's a backyard perfect for entertaining with a barbecue area as well as a pool with a water slide and grotto spa. 
After the famous family mansion from the Osbournes, Ozzy and Sharon moved into a new place in the neighborhood of Hidden Hills. They paid over $12 million for it. The celeb-filled enclave has been made notorious these days by the Kardashian-Jenner clan, but when the Osbournes bought it here, it was way back in 2007. Ozzy went from a contemporary goth-style home to a luxurious and private estate designed in bright whites and French antiques. The couple actually got help from their friend Martin Lawrence Bullard with the interior design. Sharon explained that her and Ozzy never stay in their homes too long, and said about the Hidden Hills house. I get itchy feet. We've never stayed in any place longer than seven years. I wanted a house with the best views, and I got it. This Cape Cod inspired mansion was of course completely gated in private and sat on a large 2.5 acre lot. There was a large pool and spa as well as extra yard space and patios, not to mention sweeping views of Los Angeles. Ozzy and Sheeran redesigned a lot of the house, but even upon purchase it had features like a Victorian era barn door and a reclaimed brick fireplace. The mansion was 10,000 square feet of living space which Ozzy and Sharon kept despite the remodel. Instead, they reduced the number of bedrooms from 7 to 3 which gave them an enormous walk-in closet, his and her bathrooms with the master suite and two home offices. The main entryway of Ozzy's Hidden Hills home had a spiral staircase, plenty of living and dining spaces, a study, a media room, and more. Sharon kept one of the offices for herself, and Ozzy had a home recording studio as well. The stairs leading to his studio were decorated in his photos, memorabilia, albums, and more. The mansion also had an additional guest apartment with a kitchenette too. Although the Hidden Hills mansion was gorgeous like I said, the Osbournes liked to move around. So they sold this place to none other than Jessica Simpson. Now let's take a look at where Ozzy's living these days. From what we know, the most recent home the star and his family is linked to and their current address is in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Hancock Park. This area is a residential enclave that dates back to the 1920s. The vintage yet well-kept mansions in Hancock Park offer large lawns and properties, and they also surround the Wilshire Country Club. Ozzy's current mansion was purchased in an off-market deal back in 2015 for an estimated $12 million, and it's a Spanish colonial style house originally built in the 1930s. I believe this is the same mansion Sharon did an interview at back in 2016, where she showed Ozzy memorabilia around the home like his famous photo in the bathroom. The Hancock Park home is around 9,000 square feet and has 8 beds and 8 baths. When you first walk in, you're greeted with an impressive double height entryway that leads you to the grand living and dining rooms. Ozzy and Sharon's home also has a contemporary kitchen with a huge center island that's decked out in marble. There's also a cozy breakfast nook. The attached family room offers access to the backyard, and when you move outside you'll find a patio and a flat and grassy backyard with a raised garden. Of course, Ozzy's mansion also has a swimming pool. The detached garage not only has space for three cars, but also an additional living space above. Although we don't know exactly how Ozzy and Sharon decorated their Hancock Park mansion, you can imagine they put their personal style into the place, just like the glimpse Sharon gave us inside a few years back. So now we've taken a look at where the Prince of Darkness lives, and I gotta say, aside from the iconic residents from the Osbournes, Ozzy's homes don't seem so dark at all. Beside these three homes, Ozzy and Sharon have had properties all over. Of course, they've also lived in London in the past, and one of their mansions there even had a house fire some years back. Luckily, they got out safely. One historic estate Ozzy has long owned in the UK dates back to the 1800s called the Welder's House. But in 2014, rain flooded this home, causing major water damage, which Ozzy said would take almost a year to repair. The couple also owns a large multi-million dollar condominium in West Hollywood and have flipped and resold a few more houses in the Hollywood Hills and Malibu in recent years. After seeing Ozzy's real estate, what did you guys think? Was his taste what you expected or no? Okay guys, now I'll read out a few comments from previous videos. On our recent Paris Hilton house tour, which I love doing, Dino wrote, Thank you so much for making this video. Love you so much. I like the first house. Anytime, Dino. I know you requested this one and I was excited to film it. On the same video, Dramatic DVD said, Um, I hope my dog never sees this doggy mansion. She will leave me. Honestly, I think my dog would be jealous too. Even I'm jealous. Maybe one day. And finally, Tony Wright said, I like all of our houses, to be honest. Can you please do Shane Dawson? Thank you, beautiful. All of Paris's homes were gorgeous. I totally agree. And I will add Shane Dawson to my list. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Ozzy Osbourne's home in Los Angeles, as well as the mansions he used to live. I guess we'll have to stay tuned for wherever him and Sharon move to next. Which place was your fave? Personally, I'm a fan of the OG house from the Osbournes. 
I like this style. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all next time. Bye!